questions for Coach Barnes? So, how do you feel going into the break? I feel good. Um, this was an important win tonight. These are the toughest games of the year right before the break because everybody's thinking about Christmas, thinking about their families, and thinking about what time their plane is tomorrow morning at 5 in the morning or whether it's midnight. So, um, I'm glad that we were able to, we lost focus at some points in the game, but I'm glad we were able to come out the win because they really beat us um, badly in, at, in Flagstaff last year. Did you present this as a revenge game because of that game last year? A little bit. I knew that we wanted to get revenge. I thought that they really, we had no chance last year. I thought that they just put us away and, you know, kind of embarrassed us. Um, and this is an in-state game. We want to, we want to, you know, beat our teams in the state for sure. Um, so kind of a rivalry. And I think that we didn't play well last year. So I want us to get back on track, take care of home. We have momentum. And for us to finish the non-conference 10-1, and it's where we want to be. So, um, it was an important game for all those things. And as a player, you know that if you don't win the game going into a break, it is the worst. Or if you don't play good your last games, you have the whole off season or you have the whole break to think about how bad you played. And it makes the break kind of brutal. So I thought this is a good note to end on and to have momentum going in the, to the Pac-12. So what is kind of your, your take on your team now going into Pac-12? I thought this wasn't a great game. I thought it was a little uh, bit ugly, but I thought we did some really good things. I thought I think we played probably 25 minutes of good basketball. But I thought our press, the, the bright spots were our, was our press tonight. Um, the low points were rebounding tonight and just losing focus at, at times, especially when we go into a lot of substitutions. But um, I think I'm happy. I'm happy with our overall progression in the non-conference. I think that each game we've gotten better. If you look at us a month ago, we weren't nearly um, as complete as we are now. And we have a way to go. We have to get better um, in the Pac-12. And we're going to learn real fast. And we're going to see what it's about in about a week. So. What do you think are the biggest areas of uh, big, one of the biggest areas is just consistency. I think when whether you're up five, or you're up 20, you have to have the same level of intensity. We tend to lose focus at times and go through these lulls of four or five minutes of just bad turnovers and not controlling the tempo. Um, the second thing for sure is rebounding. I think that you can control what you, your effort as far as boxing out. And we don't have that focus sometimes. We try to jump with people. Um, we don't have that discipline, so we're going to work on that, and we're going to get it. We're going to get better, and we're going to work on it every day if we have to. I think sometimes in transition, we're really strong. Our defense creates our offense, but then we go for these million-dollar passes. So we always get at least um, four or five turnovers trying to throw like the dime. Um, I don't think we have to do that. I think just being efficient, making the easy pass for a layup, or pulling it back out is what we should do. So. Those are some areas. I told you before the season that you'd be ten and one mm -hmm. going into. The Did you? No, no, I'm saying. Oh, I was like, like, I was like, oh, I was like, well, you're good then, because yeah. I was hoping eleven now. Yeah. <laughs> um, after last season, this is what you expected. Sorry. Yeah, no, no, it's okay. Um, I do that all the time. Um, I, I expected us to be significantly better. Um, I expected. Well, okay, so. Rewind. So first year, five seniors, you know, you have um, fire, they have experience, so we played pretty well. Second year, you know, you get some of your players and it's the old with the new. It's challenging. It's, everybody always told me it's your, your hardest year. It was by far the hardest year of my career because um, we didn't have a lot of players, a lot of, there was a lot of changes in the program, and it was hard. I didn't think it would be that hard. Winning six games was very hard. We were supposed to have a non-conference like this. It didn't work out. Um, and so this year, it's finally, you know, all of our players but one, um, Destiny Graham, and she's a, a delight, delight to have on the team. So now it's our kids. Now we're young, so now it's learning. Now we insert seven new players. So I knew with the personnel we were inserting, we were going to be significantly better. Now are we, are we where we need to be? No. Um, did I expect to come into games at this point and have ten players? No, but that's just the nature of basketball now. There's going to be transfers and stuff like that as your program's growing. So now we have some pieces, but we're still missing a few things, and now we're going to add them. So we've signed some players for next year and could potentially and most likely sign one or two more in the next month. Um, so once we do that, then we have some, some big weapons to insert, and we'll be a lot better next year. And our freshmen, like Kate, Samaji, they'll have some more experience. Going into conference play, what do you think the stronger of the two is, offense or defense for this team? Defense. I think our defense is solid. I think we're significantly better defensively, but also um, players, you know, make that. <laughs> so Ari is very fast, and she's a good defender. Titi's a very good defender. So right there, we got better defensively. Sam's a good defender. Um, Kate's learning. Um, Samaje will be, but they're learning. They're freshmen. Dominique is one of the smartest players. Destiny's one of the smartest players. And Lucia has improved tremendously on defense. So we have a solid defensive unit, especially in our starting five and our um, and Titi and Destiny coming off the bench. 
So that's a really good seven-player rotation defensively. Offensively, we're getting better, but um, we're going to take some risk because that's Aerie. Aerie's really fast and dynamic, and so you take the good with the bad. She, it's, she's hard to guard off the dribble, but then she likes to go for the risky pass because that's, that's kind of okay. So it's just toning that down and making sure it's the right times, and that's what she's learning. She's getting better at controlling the tempo. Your team, they're coming into tonight, you're shooting under 33% from three. I know you have a lot of those. Like, yeah. Shoot, you've done a lot of shooting drills, and you have those boards up in practice and stuff. Is there like a target number that you want to get to? I mean, I'd, I'd like to get to like 36. 36. Yeah, I mean, I think 30, 30 is low. I think we're, we're probably shooting like 31% right now or a little over 30. That We have to shoot that better because what you're going to see is a lot of teams are going to play a zone or they're going to really sag the paint because no one can guard Aerie one-on-one. -on -one. So you see the corners are wide open. So Aerie has to do a good job of recognizing that, pick and choose, of when it's, or like score more in transition and then really hit shooters, but then we have to make shots. I think Sam's very capable of that. Lucia is very capable of that, but we have to do that. We have to shoot the ball better because of how they're going to guard us. So and to get up to that percentage, I mean, is it just as simple as you need, you need to make shots? Or is there Something else I think you have to take high percentage shots. I think when you take low percentage shots, like Airy taking step back threes, they're hard shots. Um, I think us taking one, two step open threes, our percentage goes up. But when you're taking contested threes and you're taking fast threes, you're not going to have a high percentage. Um, and, you know, we talk about inserting some different people. We've recruited some shooters. So we're going to, already with personnel, we're going to be able to shoot the ball better next year. But I think we have Bryce, we have Sam, we have capable shooters. Now it's just being able to do that. Um, and, and, and I think that you'll shoot a better percentage when you take higher percentage shots. So those are wide open shots. So we're playing the game. We're learning how to share the ball. And I think we're playing some pretty good basketball. So now it's just a matter of executing. You know, in a lot of games, there seems to be a pattern where your third score does really well in the first half and then kind of disappears. Mm -hmm. What would you think? What, what's going on there? Um, well, I think that's, I think sometimes, like, Dominique, I don't think she disappeared really. I think just... She was playing really well in the first half, but then second half, teams make adjustments or someone else steps up. Um, I think Ari got going more in the second half. So I think sometimes those are factors. Um, or sometimes, like, I have to tell Dominique to be more aggressive because she's capable of doing this every single night. So staying aggressive and having that mentality, that's what I talk about, kind of those lulls. Because if you're playing, well, I'll keep on running stuff for you to keep on going, and then the next person. But... I think some of that's just confidence um, and just the mentality. But Dominique, Sam, they have the green light to be aggressive. So I, so I expect that. I expect that from them. And Lucia, too. Lucia also. I don't, out of the starters, there's no, there's no, um, I don't want fast shots, but in rhythm, if Lucia's three for four and she takes a fast three, I'm okay with that. But then you better get back on defense. Like, don't turn the ball over and jog back on defense. So those little things, I let them play. Um, you know, I'll, I'll call stuff. I let people play through mistakes. I think as a player, I, I didn't like when I made a mistake, someone pulled me out or I missed a shot, someone pulled me out. I couldn't play like that. So I try to be, like, intentional about not doing that. Mary has some turnovers and she said, my bad, I'm okay. I'm okay with playing through that, but then don't have the second, third, fourth in a row. So um, I give them the room to play. I want Sam aggressive. I don't mind that she's one for six tonight because next game she'll be three for five and four for six, eight for ten. So. Um, I like the fact that when one person isn't playing well, someone else is stepping up. Tonight, Kate played really well, and Dominique, you know, um, Aerie didn't play. So, Lucia was a little bit quiet. That's okay, but then Lucia had five assists and only three turnovers. So as long as you're doing stuff that helps your team, it, different people need to step up at different times. But we need three or four people in double digits. Your cutters actually played a really good part in tonight's game, I noticed. Yeah, what, like, what do you mean? What do, just cutting gets a lot okay. of give and goes, a lot of rolls. Off yeah, the we're supposed to do that every night, so I'm glad you noticed that tonight. <laughs> like, that's the plan all the time, but some play, you know, every post player, they don't like to roll, they all like to pop. So getting them to roll is like, you have to do it every day, because they all want to pop and shoot outside. They don't want to post up, so. What's your, now that the season's unfolded a little bit, what's your thoughts on the Pac-12? Um, my thought on the Pac-12 is it's going to be really tough, but I think that I think we can surprise some people. I think we can make some noise. Um, I, we're very capable. I think on any given night we can beat anybody. I really do, um, because I think our defense will be one of the best in the Pac-12. Um, now we have to consistently do that, and we've, we're starting to create an identity, and now it's doing that. But for me, the, mo the most important thing is we don't we don't we don't know how to win. So learning how to win, getting that confidence was the most important, important thing for me in the non-conference. It wasn't about who we played or playing ranked teams or not. It was about us getting better and finding a rhythm and learning and, and, 
and feeling good. Um, and now I, I will take care of business. I think that we have a chance to surprise some people and do better than people anticipate. And um, you know, the, the main thing is we're moving in the right direction, and that's in everything in this program. We have the right people. We don't, there isn't anyone on, in this program right now that's not right. There was in the past. Um, and I think now that we have a solid culture and a great foundation, the other people weed themselves out. And that's what we want. So we have a great group of kids. So not only are we gelling on the court and we're a cohesive unit, but we're also doing some great things off the court, whether it's community service, one of the best. Um, and also our academics, um, we've broken our own record five times. So it's all the pieces I want. It's all the players. It's, it's who I want in this program. And that's what, I'm, that's what I'm impressed with. And we're moving in the right direction. We're building a championship program the right way and doing the right thing. So that's, what I'm, that's my job. In terms of the, the rest of the conference, so what have you seen? Yeah, I know you were expecting it to be like really good this year, and it has been. So what yeah, so the, I mean, ASU is very physical, a great team. I think they're a lot better than last year because they can shoot the ball a little bit better. Um, they're experienced. Um, they're going to be a tough, a tough team. Um, Oregon has one of the best guards in the country in Eskew, and Ruthie Hubert inside. So they're really talented. Stanford always does better than people anticipate. They can be chosen fourth. They're always one of the top two teams in this league. Oregon State is stacked with a lot of talent, a tremendous amount of height. Um, Utah is playing well. Colorado, they're really hard to play at their places. So I think that we are all doing some good things and a lot of people have really strong non-conferences. And as our, you know, we're the best league in the country. Um, when we talk about, you know, during Pac-12 meetings, like, we need to win games in a non-conference because we're going to beat up each other in the conference. But I think our league is definitely, we're not a league that's up and coming, we're a league that's there. And I think that we've shown in the non-conference how strong this league is. And so that's great to see and it's great to be a part of, but it's hard. It is hard to move up. We're, we're chose, chosen to finish 10th. It is hard to get 9th, 8th, 7th, 6th. It's a process because ev like we got better and we're recruiting better, so is everybody else. So now it's my job to find ways and to make us even better, but, it, but it's hard and it's a process. How did tonight's festivities, uh, how special were they? Really special. I mean, I felt like all week I didn't have any time <laughs> because we're in the middle of recruiting and just a lot going on. Um, I think they're really important. Um, today being the 127th year of, or celebration of basketball is pretty amazing. Um, and what basketball has created for so many young women and, and these women and me, it's been a life changer for me. So it's important. And having Margaret and A. Smith here, it's really, it's really special. Having the mayor here, having Lute here, everybody supporting, it shows a lot about this community and how much we love women's basketball um, or how much they love women's basketball. So that says a lot and I think we're on the right track and people are excited. We have momentum in the community and that's what I wanted. That was my dream of coming here. It's my alma mater. When I was here, we were a great team and we had fans. So it's to bring that back and I know there's potential for that. So. Seeing the crowd tonight and the support, it's going there. The coverage we're getting, that's what, that's what we want and that's what we need. And having the mayor challenge, I, I didn't hear, but someone told me, having the mayor challenge everybody and say, hey, bring a fr friend, come support us, that says a lot. That speaks volumes. So, um, you know, we're doing the right thing and I think the community wants to support us. Anything else, Coach? No. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Okay, bye. Merry Christmas.